Hello, the audience. Uh, you should have been able to pause and see the text. I teleported back here to start the episode here, and, uh, it started a cutscene the second I got here, so... Oops. And yeah, there's a four-second delay. I started it the second I got here. Whatever. Okay. The, you, you've told me this twice before. So I think I mentioned this a very, very long time ago when I started the series over a year ago. But this game has a very, um... Uh, what you call it? Presentable Liberty style twist. And that is when you put it in here. A very specific style thing, that's why I've mentioned it here, because... You know. There's two games that have this. sealed in this room. And that says shutter. That's right, the twist is we were in an elevator. It's not a very common twist, that's why I mentioned it, but whatever. <coughs> Point is, I wanted to mention it. And also, we're on the fifth divine beast. We're now in it. That that whole, like the last, um, I don't know, five or six episodes. That was boarding the divine beast. Last week, even seven. Regardless, we're in it now, so this will be an episode or two. And the door opens before we even hit the bottom. We can actually go outside. Check it out. So, this Divine Beast is very different from the others. Uh, with the others, you, like, literally get on it and then enter it from the side or whatever. With this one, we, um, right now the Divine Beast has been expanded and is really, really huge. Um, like, this is way bigger than it is normally. Um, and we're climbing around in its engine, we have to turn it on. Like, just put the engine block together and all that jazz. Um, yeah. <coughs> I'll, I'll get more in-depth as we go along. Yeah, soundtrack. Also, guardians spawn here, and they don't just, like, spawn here randomly. They're set enemies that throughout the... Wow, I can one-shot those things now. Sweetness. Uh, yeah, as we go throughout the thing, that will be a thing. Anyway. So, the, the whole goal here is to unlock these four things holding that steady, and then plop that gear into the big thing and then make the door open. So that's that's the end goal, which is presented right there. Uh, yeah, so. Also, I got a new controller. I probably should have mentioned that earlier, but anyway. New controller, it, it works, so. Should be able to provide content that's not having the camera go all over the place. It will probably will still go all over yeah. Go all over the place. Um but once I stop habitually fiddling with it then you know. So yeah, this is not the map of the outside of the Divine Beast, because that would be weird. This is a map of the inside. Um so it's just the map of the engine. And then uh what we can do with it is we can rotate it one way or the other. So let's just rotate it that way. Uh, that was the way I was supposed to. I just guessed. I just wanted to rotate it because, yeah, it's cool when things rotate. Uh, um, I don't remember where I go from here, but I do remember this is the first place to go. So we there are four. It, yeah, because there's four locks. There are four areas that we can go to. So let's go to that one first. Why not? Pretty sure there was a door down there, but it's fine. Oh no no no! Okay, I remember what I have to do here. Oh, there's a door down here. Um, okay, yeah. So I do need to rotate this. And the way I do that is getting my thesis. And 
sticking it in there. Oh my god. Alright, I'm in. So then the next one is this one, which if I remember correctly, all you guys do is... Well. Hold on. Let's go a little further. Yeah. Okay. What is that doing and why? <laughs> okay. Um. I'll go here. Probably not useful, but yeah. Okay. Um. I feel like I'm missing something. Ah, there it is. Get off. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember now. Okay. I'm not cutting any of that out. Right, now we gotta stick this. Yeah, again, these are very small pieces. We're just. Not that we're tiny, it's just that the thing's big. Here we go. It is now rotating. So yeah, this is the weapon. Um, you can already tell each of these will be representing um, each uh, champion. I don't know which one is this supposed to, this is supposed to represent. Um, I Urbosa, because well, there we go. Uh, okay, I was about to say. Okay. Letters. That was E. We got rid of E. That's an A up there, and the last two are the the same one. M, I think. Maybe H. Maybe H. See, guardians. It's fun here every time I complete something. Also, for whatever reason. I do not have my champion stuff. Yeah, I got that. No, you! There we go. Okay, um. Yeah, so the other one is right there. Which we can get to. Okay, cool. I don't know. <laughs> this one's obviously Durug. Um. I actually just realized we can just rotate it the other way and have it go back. <laughs> I don't have to wait all the way. Alright. And in we go. They do also affect the stuff in here, as you can see there. Uh, but we do need to, to be rotating the other way. So, let's have that happen. I don't have to turn around, I'm just doing that because... Ooh, okay, got it. Oh, this one's actually good. Right, so, you release the ball. <laughs> That's the thing. Um, I think 
Perhaps that's where it ends. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Y yeah, this one also rotates. Oh, yeah, the rest of it. Alright. <laughs> this is actually kind of a fun one. Because I can keep pressing down. So we need to make it plop down straight in the middle there. Okay, can stay just the thing. If need be. Okay. I'm pretty sure it'll work, but just in case. Alright, sweetness. Whoop. There we go. It did take some getting used to with the button layout and the fact that it's shaped like a PS3 controller. Uh, but I do like the, the uh, controller. It's very comfortable. Oh, for a second I thought it was like underneath the track. That's good. Anyway. Oh yeah, that's right. We had, we had to hit the terminal. I'm used to solving puzzles the portal way, where once you do the thing, the door unlocks and you go. I'm starting to think of the symbols don't really mean anything. The letters. Dear Lord. Okay, parrying this guy. <laughs> I was going to kill this guy with sword beams in the event that I broke my thing. I'm right here. Yeah, I think you do have to kill these guys. Oh, come fuck on. You done? I doing wrong? I know I'm parrying too early, but that's not helping. I don't want to eat one of those. <laughs> Fucking god! Oh god, I just don't remember where those are from. Oh, thank God you're dead. I don't think they drop anything. Oh, no, they do. Giant ancient core, finally. Okay, that was worth it, actually. <laughs> um, where am I going now? I want to get to one of those two. I have to go up there first. Yep, yeah, alright. Alright, so we've got the Revali one and the Mipha one. Highly written on that. Oh. There, it's on recording. I'll look at it later. This is everywhere. Jesus Christ. Made in Japan. Uh, okay. Got this. Oh, wait, right. Flurry from. Flurry rush, rather.
don't need to kill it, but I don't have a weapon without killing it. So. There we go. I keep acting like I like the Master Sword never breaks, but uh, it, yeah, it breaks. Yeah, it leaks. I'm done. No, I'm done. <laughs> Okay. Okay, got it. Okay, I see how I'm getting on that one, which means I'm probably going to that one first. Yeah, it's been just being stored in there for whatever reason. Okay, well. Come on, here you go. You know, it's cheaper to just build your own Divine Beast. Back you go. <laughs> this one's this one's the coolest feature. This one does the uh the because it the wind rotates one way or the other depending on which way you have it set. Wind rotates whenever the wind pushes you in one direction or the other, depending on which way you rotate the engine. There we go. Okay, so this part's actually kinda cool. But of course you don't want to get thrown into a giant fan, so let's just stasis that. And then here we are. I don't remember the purpose of being over here, but I assume this has something to do with it. Oh wow, cool, a bow I don't need. It's weaker than the already not Revali scale bow I have. Um. Oh, I was supposed to go up a lot. This, this, I, this fan keeps reminding me of the one from the co-op Portal 2 game. The, the, I, I said that with the intent of saying co-op last, not saying game last. Uh, but then it led with co-op because that was on the mind, because I thought they'd send backwards for whatever reason. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I could just stasis the platform, but that's boring. Oh yeah. Okay, I do want to get out of here before the uh, fan starts again, so... I don't want to have to recharge all that stuff. Oh man, I definitely wanted to get better gear than what I have now before doing this, but I forgot, so we're doing it. So this last one is just a genuine guardian. Oh no, it's a flying guardian. Oh, hi. Yep, there's its ominous shadow. I don't have the ability to kill that thing, so I'm not gonna. We're just going to... Okay, we're just going to avoid that guy and go straight for the thing. Okay, moving parts. Oh, I see what I have to do. Boom. Push it. Push it. Fuck. Yes! Go, go, go. 
go, 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 Boom. Here we go. And I uh, kick the water. Yeah. Oh, I need to be on the other side of this. I'm sure that's fine. I don't know how to improvise. Um. Oh yeah. <laughs> just do that. I could have also rotated it the other way, but that's that's for uh, people who are boring. Okay, what is this? This is a giant mallet. There's nothing to hit with the mallet. Many water. Scary being over here, because there it is. I just don't know how to get out. Oh my god. Probably could have equipped some swimming gear before going in there, but whatever. Um, can I stasis any of you? I can stasis you. Oh, you're a series of mallets. Okay. Well, let me just make it easier on myself and my weapons. I did nothing. Got it. Yeah, that make it easier on myself my weapons. Sure, why not? Whatever. There we go. Yeah. Now there's that. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Forgot about this. Take it out. Load it into the front. Fire. Uh, yeah. Then then I. I Fucking like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Just checking every other area, including where the ball was. Not realizing that I could just do this. Oh shit! This is definitely going to be over half an hour because this next boss is a bit rough. All right, finally. Let's just hope that the uh, air thingy isn't there anymore. I don't want to deal with him on the way to the end, the way to the boss. So there we go. That's that's it. We have complete well, almost completed. We actually have to finish the engine by plugging the thing in. I think it despawned. Speaking of despawning, I found out ammo can despawn in oh shit. Weapons and ammo can despawn in Fortnite. Uh, I was running around a team mode and found some ammo that's been there for a while and tried to pick it up and then it disappeared right before I got to it. Yes! Thank you! Just in time. Boom. Alright. Just gonna keep jamming it forward until it works. There we go. <laughs> and we did it. We have completed the fifth divine beast and we're underground, so. That's what the window looks like. Looks like. Oh, that looks beautiful. Alright, let's go. So this has a shrine ending instead of like a, a blight fight. But there is still a boss, so. This is the guy that's been talking to us this, this whole time as well. You're proven to possess the power of a true hero. In the name of 
of the goddess Hylia. That's right, he's moving. This blew my mind when I saw this. Ah, <laughs> uh, this was cool. This is cool. This currently is very cool. I offer this final trial. Lots of swearing, lots of healing, lots of spamming, um... Herbosa's Fury ahead. This fight's rough. It's the hardest fight in the game. I'm not kidding. Ganon is not as hard as this. But I did want to do this first. Technically you're supposed to do this after Ganon, but there's a big reason that I wanted to do this first. Because I like the ability that you get for doing it. Yeah, he's the boss as well. I like the ability that you get for doing it, and if I do this last, then we won't be able to use it, so... Bring it. You can do a flurry rush. This is sort of a tame beginning. Getting warmed up to his attacks before to bring them up. God, I can't get the timing right for the flurry rush. Jesus. Also, this guy's got massive amounts of health. Dear God. Also, he uses ice arrows, the most asshole form of arrows. Doing the Thunderblight Ganon thing that I hate. At least I got the flurry rush timing on that one down. Okay, phase two. Uh, I think three or four. I I remember three, but the fact that this happened at a quarter health makes me think there might be four. But this this is my least favorite phase by far. But if we get past it, when we get past it, all right, we're getting past it. Okay, we're gonna use this one. And now it doesn't attack as well, but. There's no, I don't, as far as I know, there's no way of telling which one's real. Ah. You just have to avoid his attacks long enough for him to reveal himself. Oh, are they all gonna run at me? They're all gonna run at me. Really? All the way back there? I don't think he's always the middle one. Ah, no way of knowing. Seriously, what is this right now? What is happening? I think at this point you just have to hit them to make them disappear. Go out. Oh, shit, I hit the real one. I would like this phase more if I could reliably land things, you know? But I, it's just a guessing game, there's no skill involved. As far as I know, maybe there's, maybe there is a pattern here that I'm not seeing, but I, once again, I am not seeing it. Oh, found the real one, there we go. Cool. We're all gonna jump up, aren't you? 
Oh, okay. Healing. Uh, Mipha's Grace is active. I don't know if I want to waste all my food. I'll wait till I use up Mipha's Grace. Okay, they're going for a charge attack. Saving my energy this time. Ah. I mean, at least I hit him once. Hey, he's doing the bow thing again. This is nothing I can do. I'm almost done with this phase, because I know he transforms in the last one at half health. Come on with that one. I can't do this right now. Do I have a, any bomb? Oh, no, I do have bomb arrows because I picked them up as well. And I have 20 of them, so. I can't really go at 90 degree angles, can I? What? They function as regular arrows, of course they do. Kick. Something up. Something different. That one's him. He's the one with the. Oh my god, I figured it out! <laughs> Just as he's about to transform into a different phase. But I figured out how you can tell which one's him in that scenario. Uh, I mean, that scenario only. But still. Battle axe broke. Okay, well he's like one hand away, right? Herbosa Fury is ready. Yep. And Herbosa's Fury is ready. Which is what she just said out loud, but whatever. Phase three. And I used up Mises Grace, but whatever. I'm pretty sure I still have the extra one. Yep, see this one is kinda more fun for me because now I know which one he is. <laughs> Cause he's uh kind of giant. And, uh, no, can't hit him. Oh, fun. Lots of fun. I don't know why he's able to do this. Uh, when is Dirk's protection coming back? Two minutes. Okay, this fight may last up to two minutes. Yep. Arrow's still not doing anything. Okay. So this is some insight to the Sheikah because that because this is a technique that we've only seen with the Yiga clan. It's very interesting that a Sheikah that's for choosing it. Is the Master Sword gonna be back? Ten minutes, right? Yeah, so it's five now. Nope, arrow's still not doing it. Got it. What are you doing? So as you can see, there uh, there is an edge to this, and you can fall off, which is not very fun. But same thing happens with uh, all the divine beasts as well. They their arenas also have edges. You can make the argument that I probably shouldn't be using the Thunder Blade for that, but what else am I going to use it on? Not the hardest fight in the game. Oh, you! Probably should be using that one uh, super good one that I have that's 45 power, but no thanks. That doesn't hit his option, so. This is another Yiga clan. Alright, sweet. What are you doing? Oh, that's right, he rotates. 
He rotates this whole thing. And then starts doing stuff, I think. Oh, yeah. He's doing this one again. It's alright, I only need one. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, now he's gonna rotate it back the other way, which means he's probably gonna hit. It's okay. Special reasoning. Probably not going to Hey, meow. Get him right now. Okay. Wait for him to do that attack, I guess. Now that I have to root protect him, they're gonna fucking parry. Oh, is he already on to stage four? Yep. Oh god. Stage four. Now he's just kinda fucking hitting me. God, arrows are still doing nothing. What the fuck are those? Oh, those are those are mini U's. By mini, I mean they're the same size as what you would be regularly. Okay. Unless he just is a giant. <laughs> but. Never really seen giant Hylians before. Yeah, I know they're Sheikah, but Sheikahs are still Hylians. Good Hylians. Alright, well, I'm gonna use some food. I don't need to at the moment, so I'm just going to. Is he killing his own guys? Sweetness! Only stomping with the right foot. <laughs> Equally sweet. Not gonna let me hit his left foot. Yeah, no, he is only or left foot rather. I couldn't tell which way he was standing. Oh my god! My god! Stop it! Protection. Do something. Stop it! Yeah, I need to stop Z-targeting habitually. Like, it's not helping. Yes! Got it! Oh, yeah. Yes! So now, as promised, we get our very own Divine Beast. And he's back to normal size. And in his normal position. The giant fucking club that seals the darkness. <laughs> you faced that challenge with great courage. Thank you. You have erased all doubt from my mind. You are a true hero. As such, you are uh, destined to take hold of this ancient masterpiece. It's not going to be as big as the others, but it's going to be cool. There was a bird, there was an elephant, there was a camel, there was a lizard, and now... There's a horse! That we were crawling around inside building the engine of. It's also a motorcycle. And really big.
That wasn't a cut either, that just happened. <laughs> And it's now getting shrunken to be very tiny. And then put into the Sheikah Slate, which means we can summon it at any time. And, yeah, it's a motorcycle, so... We're not getting rid of Richard, we're going to... Very politely put Richard in the stable for later use. Insert materials into the tank to convert them into fuel. You can freely call upon this item, but summoning it will not uh, work in certain areas. Like the desert. I'm pretty sure it only doesn't work in the desert. <laughs> that which you have obtained is a masterpiece of innovation created for the one true hero. Hero of Hyrule, may the goddess smile upon you. So we're not done with the episode yet, we got one more thing to do, but I would like to mention that the next couple episodes... Oh, look, look, there's the motorcycle! <laughs> it is a fifth of mine beast. It's cool. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so, we're not gonna end the episode just yet, but the next couple episodes we're just going to go out and get a bunch of memories. All the memories, actually. That's why I wanted the motorcycle, so we can take the motorcycle to the memories. But drama. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. The champion's ballad. Get it? Or a roll credit, see the one. Thank you for joining me here today, and for your bravery in accepting this fateful task. I officially appoint you Hyrule's Champions, and bestow upon you this sacred garb. That blue is a symbol of the royal family, one that has been passed down for countless generations. Those garments you now wear were all crafted by my daughter, Zelda. Zelda, I trust you with the task only a daughter of the royal family can fulfill. Lead our champions, princess. And together, protect our kingdom from the threat of Calamity Ganon. Formal shindigs really take it out of me. Hmm. This is the Sheikah Slate, eh? It is. Apparently, there are more uses for it than we originally thought. Sadly, we've yet to decipher all of its secrets. The princess showed me something strange recently. Somehow it can create true-to-life images. Wow. I would love to see it. Um, Princess, may I ask a special favor of you? All right, this spot should work nicely. Keep your eyes on the Sheikah Slate, everyone. Uh, Daruk, can you crouch down a bit? You're as big as Death Mountain. Huh? Oh. 
what's with the glum face, princess? Give me a big smile. Huh? <sighs> Rabali, move your tail closer to the group. Ugh, fine. Mifa, you look so tense. Deep breaths, okay? Right. <sighs> Stay just like that. Here we go. Smile. Click snap. Okay, there we go. So we got the picture of the champions, which, if we do the house side quest, which then leads into the Terrytown side quest, we can put on a desk. Um, I'm not going to do that for the sake of putting a picture on a desk. <laughs> it's way too much time and effort. So, by time and effort, I mean money. Time is money, so. Link. Takes too much time. Link. Link. I have watched your journey. Every step. You have overcome every challenge with great courage. With the power that you have attained, I am certain you can defeat Calamity Ganon. Yay, we can defeat Ganon for the sixth time. But I disagree, so we're gonna go out and get all the memories, get the good truly. ending. What do you mean, truly? You, you, you promise this time after number six? <laughs> I mean, there's so many jumping off points for the story. I mean, holy hell. I'm, I don't regret playing this game all the way through beforehand. And another reason I don't regret it... Oh yeah, memories. So these are all the ones that we have to... Uh, recovered memory. Oh yeah, these these are... They're all in a timeline. Oh dear lord, we have to get all those. And and there's also these ones, and alright, that this will be the next couple episodes, and, uh, getting all the memories. Uh, also, yeah. It, just because just I want to compare, because I rewatched the first episode, uh, this is what my layout looks like now, uh, on the Switch. Uh, at the very beginning, I only had Breath of the Wild. <laughs> so, yeah. And I also had the idea, hey, we should play Smash Brothers after this, and just pretend that, uh, Half-Life 2 doesn't exist. So, we may end up doing that after a complete series. Anyway, good night, everybody.